Hi there, it's day 15 of our advent calendar and I hope you're having lots and lots of fun opening all these beautiful stamps. That last stamp set was stunning, wasn't it? I really enjoyed working with that stamp set. But today it's a new, a new stamp set for us to open. So let me grab my advent calendar and we're going to go for day 15. Now confession time, I did record this and my mic wasn't working. I will learn one day. So day 15 is right here. Oh, I, I know exactly where the doors are now. I'm just going to pop that in there. Let's open this one up and it's a fiddly one. <laughs> there we go. It is a beautiful, oh, put that back on my table before I drop it, a beautiful textured heart. Look at that. I'm going to have so much fun with this one. So if you want to craft along, this is what you're going to need. Right, so we're going to do an index card today. So I've got my index card open at a blank page and I've just got three different oxides in front of me. So we're just going to do a really quick, um, not a pick up, we're going to do a put down for this one. So I've got some acetate. I'm just going to pop a little bit of ink on my acetate and give it a quick spritz. Just like that. And just... Just slot it on there. You can see I've got a bit of bully brush on there as well. <laughs> you see, just there. Gets everywhere, doesn't it? So we've got that one. I'm going to dry off my acetate. There we go. And then I'm just going to dry it off. Oh, it gets bad. Can you see I've got these big blobs here? It's going to take a while to dry, so I'm just going to dab them with my tissue. There you go. I'll finish drying it. Right, next colour. My um, flamingo. Again, we're just going to do a few little dabs and do dots. Give it a quick spritz. And there's that. And a little bit more. Get some up here near that spine of my book. Yeah, should be okay, I think. So we had Victorian Velvet, Mr. Flamingo, and we have got some multiviolet as well, but I'm not going to put too much of that on. So, I did, oh, there's a wet patch there as well. Wipe your table off. So, I do want some of my purple, but not too much. So, this time I'm just going to pop a bit on my table. Spritz it. I'm just going to splatter it on. A very light touch this time. Ooh, I've got it half on my acetate and half off. Oops, need a bit more than that, don't I? A bit more water. If you're finding it's already in little blobs, it's key I haven't got enough water. Just add a bit more water in. There we go. Do I splatter in? It's got that beautiful little um, hint of purple on there. And then again, just before we do anything else, we're just going to dry that off. Again with our heat gun. Right, 
There we go. So, where's our little heart gone? There we go. I popped him on one of the smaller um, stamping bases. So, I'm going to start with my palest colour, which is our lovely uh, Victorian velvet. I was going to say vintage sepia, but that's a completely different colour, isn't it? And then we're randomly just going to stamp this. Take some of our pink flamingo. Make sure you wash your stamp in between each one. Okay, just randomly, I'm not even inking it up properly, you can see it's not being inked up right. Okay, I'm not going to go in with the purple because I think that will be a bit too much. Let's just give it another quick wipe. Oh, I need a bit more water. I decided to spritz my table as well. So now I'm just going to grab, I'm going to put that to one side for a second. I want my black ink. Scrappy bit of card. I'm just gonna plonk, plonk this down on here. There we go. And I'm gonna blast that with my heat gun because we are gonna add a bit of colour to it. And layer it up, won't we? Stamp another one, just that little heart in the middle. That could look quite nice. Right, so I'm going to go for me flamingo again. So just pop him down on my desk. Um, spritzer. So let's pull this centre one off. Not my favourite paintbrush, this one. Okay. It's starting to work now, isn't it? A little bit more water just to get this moving a bit. It's getting a lot better, isn't it? So, we've got our middle heart. On the outer heart, and I think I'm going to do it with my pencil crayons. I've got a pen, but I don't want to use, want to use my pencil crayons, so let's grab my pencil crayons. And I think like a, a brownie yellow colour. So let's try that one, shall we? Mm. Might grab a yellow as well. Just... Ooh. That one might be good. There we go, that one will do. Put my cranes back over there. So I'm just going to add a little bit. I'm not going to add too much colour. So kind of adding a shade. I've got a nice, very pale yellow. And then we'll come back in with our. That was meant to be gentle, but it wasn't. <laughs> a bit too hard there. There we go. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out. Right, so I've cut my little heart out. And that's going to sit on here somewhere. And I've got some of my ephemera from the last set, so I'm just going to chop around there. So I'm going to have beautiful soul. Chop it 
and that. And because I'm in my um, index card book, I don't want to add too many layers because otherwise it just ends up so you can't close your book properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick this on, but then we'll make a bit of a feature of it around. Make a bit of a beautiful soul. A bit like that. And then like that. I am I'm I am just going to though, I'm gonna do a couple more of them because I think it just needs it. So let me grab another piece of card. I just have another one on my desk somewhere. There we go. Oops. And we're just going to quickly do another two of those hearts. Right, there you go. They're both cut out now. So all that's left to do is I'm going to pop these on here, not upside down, the right way around, my dears. Do something for me, maybe like that. One, two, three, and then beautiful and so I'm going to stick these two down. I need some red tape for it because they are a bit curly whirly, aren't they? Just pop a little bit of red tape on back. And instead of um, matting and layering them, I'm going to pop them onto the paper. But going to create the effect of it being matted and layered. Oh, my red tape stuck back down. So we're going to take our beautiful Oops. red tape stuck again. There's our beautiful and then we're going to have soul. I'm going to leave quite a bit of a gap between the two because we are going to do some work on them. So we've got our beautiful soul there. Looks all right, doesn't it? But let's just actually, before I do that, let me start with my charcoal pencil. I'm going to just add a bit of shadow. Do a bit this way, I think. Oops. More than a bit, won't it? And a bit, a bit off that one, and then I'm going to grab my doodle pen and we're going to doodle. Not the best doodle. <laughs> it's okay, there we go, and then. Ooh, Mm, I will. I'll do a little bit of scribbly roo. There we go. A bit of scribbles. And then I'm going to take my white one and then opposite to where I've done my um, shading, I'm just going to add a little bit white just to help it jump out. So this one will be just like that. And then I don't know if you can quite see that. I'll hold it up for you, you will. Oops, I've lost me. I've lost my heart. I've been going for a burden. Let's see those lovely bits around there. There we go. And all I'll do is I'll just stick them on there. If it was a card, obviously I'd use my foam pad. Um, but because it's my index card book, I'm going to stick them flat. So there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We use use one stamp and a little bit of ephemera. So here it is, all finished, all stuck down. You can see, just using one stamp to create a background, you get some really good effects, don't you? There you go, pretty cool. And then what I normally do on my index cards is just put a date on them. So on this one, I've just wrote Advent 2021, and I drew some little Christmas trees just to finish it off. Yeah, that was quite cool. And then we pulled in our um, ephemera for an, the last stamp set. So there's that little heart. Well, it's not so little, is it? It was a bit, a bit of a monkey to get out of the box, really. Look at the size of him. There we go. Anyway, 
that is it from me today and um, i hope you've enjoyed crafting along with me and um i hope to see you again tomorrow thanks for watching